everybody welcome to gray beards jewels today we bring you 10 fun facts about south dakota number one mount rushmore national memorial honors four presidents that represent key moments in the history of the united states and was created by sculptor goods on Borglum. george washington represents the birth of the nation as he led the colonists in the american revolutionary war to win independence from great britain thomas jefferson responsible for the louisiana purchase which doubled the country's size was chosen to represent growth theodore roosevelt who was instrumental in the construction of the panama canal and workers rights was chosen to represent development and abraham lincoln who held the country together through the civil war was chosen to represent the preservation of the united states number two once a notoriously lawless mining town of the old west deadwood was born with the discovery of gold in the black hills in eighteen seventy six a wagon train from wyoming brought the likes of legendary gambler and gunslinger wild bill hickok the sharp shooting whiskey drinking calamity jane and the beginnings of deadwood's booming brothel business legendarily hickok was murdered by a fellow gambler while holding aces and eights now referred to as the dead man's hand today the entire town is a national historic landmark and the city offers a little something for everyone from mining museums and wild west reenactments to treasure hunts and fine dining and all sorts of everything in between number three south dakota is home to dakota nakota and lakota native american tribes collectively referred to as the sioux nation sitting bull was the first man to become chief of the entire lakota sioux nation and led his people in the fight against the white man's encroachment of their sacred lands the black hills in nineteen ninety the state was the first to recognize the second monday in october as indigenous people's day rather than columbus day there are many sites in the state that allow visitors to get a better understanding of native american history and culture such as the atka lakota museum in chamberlain before we go any further just a quick reminder to like and subscribe be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing we'd like to also thank our new and current subscribers we really appreciate your support thank you number four custer state park is home to a herd of around thirteen hundred and fifty free-roaming bison also known as buffalo once numbering in the millions the bison population dwindled to near extinction by the end of the nineteenth century as they were slaughtered both for sport and to deprive the plains people of their most important natural resource the herd at custer state park began in nineteen fourteen with thirty-six buffalo protected in their natural habitat the bison thrived and after a few decades the population grew into the thousands they host an annual round-up to check the health of the herd and auction off some of the buffalo to prevent overpopulation which would lead to starvation number five two of the largest cave systems in the world can be found in south dakota wind cave the first cave in the world to be named a national park has almost a hundred and fifty miles of passageways and nearby jewel cave has two hundred and two miles of passages and there's a possibility as they are further explored that the two caves could actually connect inside wind cave is the world's largest display of a rare type of formation called boxwork and jewel cave is full of calcite crystals that glitter when illuminated giving the cave its name number six badlands national park consists of over two hundred and forty thousand acres of sharply eroded buttes pinnacles and spires blended with the largest protected mixed grass prairie in the united states bison bighorn sheep prairie dogs and black-footed ferrets call the prairie lands home today and badlands national park contains the world's richest fossil beds where ancient horses rhinos and saber-toothed cats once roamed the land millions of years ago there are tons of trails for visitors to admire the natural beauty of the land and don't forget to stick around until after dark and check out the stars and the universe around us number seven 
Sturgis is home of the annual Black Hills Classic Motorcycle Rally. It all began in 1938 when the town's Jack Pine Gypsies Motorcycle Club, riders of Indian motorcycles, bought and developed large tracks, hill climbs, and field areas where the rally would be held. In the beginning, the rally focused on stunts and racing. But by the 60s, hill climbs and motocross were added, as well as more daredevil-like activity, like crashes into board walls. While the first rally had just nine riders in a single race, today the rally has grown into a 10-day event with over a half million attendees. Number 8. The Mammoth Site is an amazing museum and paleontological site near Hot Springs. The remains of over 60 mammoths have been discovered at the site since bones were first found there in 1974. The facility encloses a dig site where workers are still uncovering more fossils. Other species have been found at the site as well, including short-faced bears and American camel. This national natural landmark is the only in situ or bones left as found, display of fossil mammoths in America. Number 9. Mitchell is the home of the world's only corn palace, originally built in 1892 to showcase the riches of the land and encourage settlement in the area. The palace has been renovated a few times, and the murals and designs that make up the exterior of the building are designed and created anew each year. Every year there is a new theme, and locally grown colored corn and other grains are used to bring the designs to life. This unique building houses a multi-purpose facility that has hosted concerts, including famous names like Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson, and is home to the Dakota Wesleyan Tigers basketball team. Number 10. Badlands National Park is a primary reintroduction site of the endangered black-footed ferret. With approximately 120 ferrets calling the park's prairie dog towns home, as prairie dogs are their main food source, it's a perfect spot for the population to take hold. The only ferret native to North America was thought to be extinct for a short while, but luckily a very small population was found, and from those few a breeding program was established. While still a long way from being well established, the population is growing. Almost full-grown by 90 days old, the babies are ready to set out for themselves, and hopefully will one day produce the next generation of these cute little critters. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels.